what's up YouTube it's chicken master um, decided to do a cool video here um so something that myself included overlooked but I think a lot of especially newer goalies overlook is one of the most simplest things ever and that is knee pads um, like pretty much everyone like when you're looking at what equipment to get you're gonna have knee pads be mentioned and knee pads are immensely important they really are, right? Having knee pads on is, is good, one, just to help with your landing and your butterfly and stuff like that, but also with protecting even your inner, the, a little bit above the knee and the knee itself. I recently, uh, recently been, I think a couple weeks ago, um, I took an, a puck straight to the knee and I was wearing um, these cheap Bauer GSX pa uh, knee pads. Took the puck like right about in here, right above the knee, and oh my god, it hurt. Um, wasn't the end of the world, nothing's broken, nothing's damaged, it just, it really hurt, right? So I wanted to actually talk about this. What are the differences between a cheap pair of knee pads and an expensive pair of knee pads? So again, I have, for on the cheap end, we have the $50... Bauer GSX knee pads um, for senior. They're very, very simple, very basic, right? You're getting a pretty straightforward knee pad. Landing gear, there's not much. There's just some padding on the inside, right? A little bit of padding on the outside, a little bit of padding here. But, like, honestly, like, there's not a whole lot going on in this kind of pad. Um, does it work? Yes. If you're a new, low-level goalie, Definitely, these are probably like within your range if you're brand new. But I would say that these are not going to be well for you in the long run. So, again, right after the injury, I actually made the switch. I went ahead, bought myself a nice pair of Bauer Pro knee pads. Um, you'll notice they're already a little bit wider, a little bit bigger, but honestly, like, it's not that much of a difference. Like, a sp like you'll notice it, but it it's not the end of the world. Um, these are a little bit, like, especially on this middle section, there's a little bit of, like, just straight nothing. There's, it's just kind of like a solid block, um, thin block, but your actual knee is going in down in here. So it kind of, there's a lot more padding and then a lot softer padding too. And then that piece and then the knee of your pad. So, but I kind of wanted to show you the differences between this and talk about it. So I'm going to go ahead, throw on my right knee, the Bauer Pros. Um, these ones are, I think these were $100 for the intermediate size. I actually sized down because they're so big and they're, nice and comfy and tight like I'm kind of in that I have pretty good sized legs but if I can get a little bit smaller that's better and then on my left side we're going to throw on the Bauer GSX so right away you'll notice they're going to cover the knee right about to the same part down the shin you don't need much going on here right once you have your leg pads on you're going to have the leg pads on them right um but big things, the pros are going to have a grippier kind of to the, to the strapping on the inside, right? They want to hang on, want you to hang on to these. Whereas with the GSX, it's pretty much just that. Um, the GSX are all a hinge kind of mechanism. Um, I'll show it up close. This is all that's happening, right? When you are bending and when you're straight, right? Whereas... The pros have a lot more kind of movement and collapsing happening. Um, can't really say like which is like better. I these are a little more comfortable, so I would say that it's this kind of mechanism. But the hinge of the GSX is very simple, um, so I, it's nice, but it's not the greatest. Um, so. Let's actually throw on. I want to do this and just kind of hopefully show kind of exactly what we mean with the differences in landing. If I can get the 
Velcro to cooperate. I'm gonna throw on the Crocs, actually. They're not skates, but they'll be the next best thing. So, um, look, I've used a couple different sets of knee pads. I actually started playing without knee pads. Um, that was one of the dumbest things I ever did. Um, I, so, it's important to find a good pair of knee pads to wear. Yeah, I cannot stress it enough. It really is. Because the one time I didn't have, when I first didn't have knee pads, I did also take a puck to the knee. It wasn't the end of the world, but it hurt. And so even then getting hit with these with the GSX on, there's a certain level of no pad is perfect, right? There's no, oh, this will you'll never get hurt in these, right? It's a giant puck. It's a big, big round rubber disc heading straight for you at a pretty fat high speed. It's going to hurt if it hits you right. That's right. But we'll kind of put, point out kind of, Right, the idea between the high level is that there's a little bit more foam going on. There's a little bit better foam happening in there, and they hopefully feel a lot better. They're going to be more fitting to you. So the idea is that they'll perform better and they'll protect you more compared to the baseline. And again, baseline with the GSX is all about right. It's the base, right? First time playing, yeah, they're going to work. But I would recommend moving from there. So I'm going to get down in the butterfly and we're going to show you just kind of the differences between these pads so you can kind of see it a little bit more so i've gotten myself into a pretty narrow butterfly here to kind of show off the inside here um you'll notice with these knee pads there's a lot of protection up top here right then there's that round piece that kind of is going to collect around the middle and then you won't be able to see it but right underneath is the part that my knee's actually in and all these parts combined create a really solid surface. They're hard, but they're cut. They're they feel great on the inside. And pounding on it, I still feel it. Like on it again. Like I said, there is no pad that's gonna hundred percent make the pain go away. There are pads that will make it you feel it less, and there are pads that are gonna make you feel it more. So I would say if between the two, I'm gonna probably feel it less here. And part of that, too, is how form-fitting it is, right? It's going to disperse better. These GSX pads, I don't know if I can, like, you can see it, but my leg is actually here. These fan really wide, especially when you crouch down. Um, but you can see here's, like, the landing. It kind of hinges, right? Lands down. This is that top part, and this is the part that I got hit on. It was, like, right up in here. It's very flat, it's very rigid, and it's almost a more plasticky sound, whereas this is more damp and there's more foam going on. So I would say that, again, the pros are probably gonna feel a lot better when you get hit. You're still gonna feel it, you're still gonna notice it. And granted, right, it's not a hit that happens a lot. I, I would say that in like the last two years, um, that I've been playing goalie, you know, the one time I didn't wear knee pads and then the one, this one other time, I've been hit twice, right? And they've, though, even then, those have been far apart. The way it happened, the way that the particular hit that I had happened is I had changed, like, something like this. I did something like this to turn. It wasn't the best way to do it, obviously, but it was just how I did it. And I had opened up, I opened up this hip, basically, and exposed this part of my leg, and they just took a shot at that exact time, right? Should have definitely moved more like this, tried to cover, but it is what it is. Um, I was in the trues. I just have the Bowers here to show this because they were easier, plus they weren't as smelly. Um, but, but yeah, and again, here's this pad. Like, you can see it all kind of collecting. And the actual landing surface, again, isn't this really stiff, hard part. That was something the reviews pointed out for these was actually that like this part like hurts but it's like the actual part that you should be landing on if you're wearing the knee pads correctly you it's very comfortable and especially like these are bowers and of course these are my bower um x5 pros like 
the I love the knee block of these pads. Um, it's like one of my favorite parts of them. It's a very comfortable feeling, even in like the GSX. And like my knees hurt today. I had a lacrosse game the other day, and like my knees got beat up. But this really like feels great. So I would definitely say like the hundred dollars like sucks. Like it, it, it's not great but honestly i feel like it's a hundred dollars well spent i feel like i'm gonna get some good life out of these and i feel like they're gonna do their job well again i haven't taken a puck with these yet so there is a little bit of that but also right i took one with these and there's a difference between no pad no knee pads um a baseline knee pad and a pro line knee pad again if you're brand brand new you're not facing high intensity shots these will probably work fine they work for me really well for like a year and a half that I had them. But I would definitely say like, if you're looking into leagues and stuff, like for drop-ins, you're probably gonna be fine. Stick and pucks, again, you're probably not likely to be hit. In general, you're not likely to be hit if you're playing good positioning and you're moving your hips and legs right. Um, you know, if you're like in an actual proper butterfly. Um, but I would definitely say that like, it's gonna happen. I would definitely say, like, try and get better knee pads at some point. I think for GSX, I don't even put them at baseline. I put them at entry line. Of They're great when you're entering the game, but pretty quickly you should move on past them because they're not going to do you well in the long run. So that's that. Um, I mean, not much else to talk about, but I wanted to try and point this out that, like, this is my personal experience mixed in with Again, this is something that you should be aware of, right? That it's it can and will happen. You're gonna get hit in this part of your legs. You have pants with the heavy, thick, heavy padding, and you have knee pads. At some point, the better knee pads you should pay out for them, right? If you're fine with a little pain, I mean, hey, pop off. But I was gonna, th I felt like I was gonna throw up. It was so bad. And I pretty quickly was like, I need to invest in something better because these were just not going to cut it with that kind of pain. So I still have these. I'll, I'll keep them just in case. But Bower Pros, these are solid pads. I tried on a couple of different ones, but these just were the ones that stuck. So cool. If you have any questions about it, um, make sure you let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to an try and get back to you with an answer. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.